Back at it with the uphill bits. Oh, look at this. This is, I mean, tell me this is for one, one direction only. With Naik and Kim, a Belgian couple who spent a year and a half traveling the world before buying and converting this Ford Transit van into a camper van that we are now driving through Europe. Today we're driving into the Swiss version of the Grand Canyon, which means very steep mountain roads for my first time driving our three and a half ton van through the Swiss Alps. It's more like a mountain bike road than a driving a van road, I would say. It's so uneven and it looks like it's icy, like... Nah, uh. just... Yes, the drive is about as relaxed as it sounds, but first... Good morning! Good Welcome morning, back! Guys. Well, if you're not sure who it is, <laughs> it's it us. Is I. Yes, yes. It is I. We are going to have ourselves a little feast today. Today is Sunday. It is a sunny Sunday. And we're gonna Sunday? drive up into the mountains, further into the mountains, go into a canyon, have ourselves a little wild camping and overnight barbecue, enjoy van life. And but we're first, gonna get. We gotta go shopping. We gotta go shopping. And we sort of forgot about the fact that we didn't initially take into account that today is Sunday, so a lot of shops will be closed. But not to worry, we found a small shop here that's open. Hopefully we can find some supplies it's because we practically ate everything in our fridge and our pantry, so we really need shopping. Getting ourselves some potatoes here, some veggies to grill. And of course we need some meat because barbecue that meat ain't no barbecue. Mm, what do we need? Gotta go with these small ones. all that we had left in our fridge basically nothing the pantry is empty too so it was high time to go shopping after stocking up on supplies we started our drive from the Verzaska valley towards the Flims canyon the canyon is said to be one of the most spectacular landscapes in the already pretty spectacular Swiss canton of Graubünden, unique in the Alpine region and chock full of scenic viewpoints. Great, we made it up to our first stop here at the Swiss Grand Canyon. This is called the Swiss Grand Canyon. It's actually the uh, Rhine Gorge, but it is nicknamed the Swiss Grand Canyon because it's the biggest canyon here in Switzerland. Can, can, can. Turns out we forgot the key. Still in the van. Did you take the bear lock? But yeah, they I could break in and steal <laughs> all our stuff. Yeah, it was still open, the key was still on there, but I took the uh, lock for the gearbox so they couldn't drive off it, but still not very smart. So this is the beginning of the Swiss Grand Canyon. They made a little viewpoint here. This is part of the Graubunden region. Yes, it is the southeastern region in uh, Switzerland. It's like the more mountainous region again. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Swiss Grand Canyon. Yeah, wow. This was actually formed 10,000 years ago when there was a big, massive rock slide of 100 million cubic meters. Can you imagine that? It filled up part of the river here, which formed a huge lake, 25 kilometers long, and then the river cut through the barriers, the lake disappeared, and voila, a canyon was born. Happy birthday, <laughs> 10,000. <000. laughs> that is a hell of a lot of candles. I think it was exactly this day. So. This exact day, yeah. exactly 10,000 years exactly. ago. Exactly. Ancient scripture <laughs> shows this. Oh. Wow, look at that. Switzerland was born for droning. Oh yeah. I think it's the country where it was invented exactly 10,000 years ago. Exactly. We have Kim at the wheel here, going through these small mountain passes. Oh, a tunnel! That's some of my 
fellow drivers pass by. So obviously they're a bit faster in the mountains than we are. But I mean, most of this is not two-way traffic, yet they make it out to be. There are people coming from the other side, but there shouldn't be. See, like okay. here? Yeah, this is definitely not a two-way traffic street. Super chill. There's just a slight drop on that. Look at that, look at that, look at that! <laughs> we fit, right? Yeah, we fit. Okay, we definitely fit. <laughs> That was pretty tight. Damn. Now comes the tight uphill bit. <laughs> oh. Glad he's stressful. She's driving like a pro though. I don't want to make many jokes about Kim's driving, but she's a really good driver. Aww. That guy is a really good pisser though. <laughs> don't film him. Yeah, I'll film him. <laughs> That's going on YouTube, guy. I just did the Can same thing. Can you just help me look if there's anyone in this turn? There's, there's a turn, is. yeah. But you can go, it's okay. It's made for two cars. This little. Yep, yep. Stop, yep. We stalled. It's okay. First gear. Floor it! I want to hear the tire screech. Well done. <laughs> That's too soon. I'm driving in mountains like this with ridiculously steep inclines and one lane let's call it what it is it's one lane just like this it's quite stressful we're doing a group trip to Switzerland next year and I'm driving anyone come and sign up now I think I'm busy I got something <laughs> planned during the period so I, I won't be there but have fun views wow. look at this guys look at this Back at it with the uphill bits. Oh, look at this. This is, I mean, tell me this is for one one direction only. Not one, not one direction, the band. Welcome to a day of extreme off-roading with Vinny and Kim. Well, Don't I'm just, ice here. well, I'm just a victim Wait, here. There's ice underneath the van. Yeah, it happens in the mountains where there's snow. Oh, that's fucking scary. Ice, is just That concrete. is ice, look at it, ah. it's ice. Looks like concrete to me. Concrete jungle it is. This road this looks more like, yeah, there's some bicycle sign here. It's more like a mountain bike road than a driving a van road, I would say. It's so uneven and it looks like it's icy, like... Nah, uh, it's, just, it's just concrete and some mud is, mixed this in. This is the scariest driving I've ever done. Part of the adventure, I would say. And I'm not holding on for dear life, so so far I'm good. Kim stalled twice now here. Like a pro! The car is like, no mommy, no! Why are you hurting me? 
I'm sorry, boy. I'm sorry. Lots of traffic here today. We are alive from the traffic jam from the other side. It's good practice, uh. yeah, it is. I'm happy to report that we made it to our destination. In one piece. Somebody help me. <laughs> I think I have PTSD now. <sighs> ah, I'm so sorry. I'll never do that to you again. Before we continue, we want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community that has literally thousands of classes. We've been using Skillshare for a few months now and we found that it's a really nice way to explore your creative side and learn new creative skills. Whether you're interested in design, photography, video, business skills, self-improvement, whatever it is, they have classes on all of that and more. Right now I'm taking a class by Brandon Wolfel on how to shoot, edit and share Instagram worthy photography. As you guys know we spend a lot of our time shooting video but we don't really pay that much attention to photography and I was super excited to find this class by Brandon on Skillshare because he's one of my favorite portrait photographers and I've literally been following him and admiring his work on Instagram for years now. In the class Brandon talks about everything from planning out a photo shoot, how to determine the best camera settings to achieve the look that you want to have in the picture right down to how he edits his photographs in post-production. This class to me has really highlighted how much we could gain from shooting at the best time of day which is golden hour so right before sunset or right after sunrise it's probably gonna be sunset but still because the light at that time of day is just so much warmer so much softer which means the images will come out looking uh, much more flattering and much more vibrant if you've taken any online classes before you probably know that this can get quite expensive quite easily on other platforms but with Skillshare if you take an annual subscription you only pay about 10 US dollars a month to become a premium member which gives you unlimited limited access to all of the classes that they have. Since the platform is centered around learning, they also don't run any ads on any of the classes and they keep adding a lot of premium content as you go so you can keep learning as much as you'd like and just have fun with it. The first 1000 subscribers to click the link in the description box below get a free trial of premium membership so you can start exploring your creativity. If all that sounds good, please do go check it out. Click the link in the description box. Don't forget the spices. Alright. I think this is where they store the free firewood. Yes, free. There's a, in this case an organization that has dozens. It's pretty heavy. It has dozens of these fire pits across the country. It's called Swiss fireplaces. They provide you with a barbecue seating area. And some wood, even paper to uh, yeah, get the wood tell. going. I think this should be good to get our start. Happier than it looks, heavier than it looks. Alrighty. I hope I'm more successful than previous time. <laughs> <laughs> when we were in Sweden, up in the Arctic Circle, I failed a little bit. I had to try a couple of times. I mean, in the end, I succeeded, but I failed a couple of times. So. <laughs> Many men made fire. Now that I seem to have the fire going, it's crackling along. Hopefully it will stay that way. Let me show you the views behind me. Look at this, guys. But as you know, we're big fans of uh, showing you the views with our drone. So. Yeah, that's the disturbing sound Kim makes when she's... Kim, the drone is awfully close to your head though. Don't launch it. Oh, I trust myself. I can do this. I'm just gonna step away two or three kilometers. I'm staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign. Some day a 
Sausage, some veal wrapped in bacon. I mean, veal wrapped in bacon. Mm -mm -mm. Gonna start preparations, guys. Uh, she, she seems in danger. Hold still. Uh, no, no, I'm not the night's food. I'm, I, I don't taste as good as I look, so please don't eat me. <laughs> Lucky for me, I have a professional chef with me everywhere. Professional? Am I getting paid for this? I didn't know. Got some eggplant already grilling here, some corn on the cob. Mm. This looks delicious, smells delicious. It's so nice to be outside. I mean, it's not even really cold, right? it's slightly cold, but we have our hats, our scarves. Didn't close my jacket yet, so super comfy. Corn on the cob. It's been a while. Mmm. Oh, that's good. This corn is super sweet. Mmm. Slightly charred. Slightly charred. It's perfect. Good morning. Here we are again at our walking spot gonna take a little hike to uh, one of the most beautiful viewpoints of this area as you can see it snowed yesterday night here and there's a nice carpet of white snow really nice makes it a bit more of a winter wonderland plot twist that'll be my ride <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I missed it. <laughs> no, no, no. I can't outrun you on ice, dude. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't throw with my left hand. That's why you told me you're a horrible shot. It uh, was a horrible aim. Horrible aim. I'm giving you. I mean, <laughs> it's not like I'm a small target. I want to be this slow, so that could be painful. Please don't hurt me. No, 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 no. Oh. Nate, I swear to God, I can see you on the camera. Yeah, you hit me. Whew, finally. Finally, that's over with. Just questioning my my whole existence there. It became an existential crisis. Congratulations. Anyway, finally. Uh, anyway, what? We're having a strong. Um, regardless, I don't remember what I was gonna say. <laughs> Are you okay? It is super ice here. Just look, I'm standing here and I'm just, I'm just sliding down. Gracefully though, gracefully. Ever so gracefully. This bit is better though. Look, I'm a human sleigh. <laughs> okay. After about 40 minutes of walking, I found this little spot where they're selling chocolate and coffee and soup. Cheers, Munchkin. Cheers to the whole chocolate. Oh, it's really good. It is really good. Made it to the viewing platform here. I think the views should be really amazing from what I saw. But we're gonna wait with looking till we get up. I'm only looking at the floor. Not looking up yet. That's for when we get to the top. Oh, wow, that's nice. <laughs> 
You are right. Nate told me it's a little bit like Horseshoe Bend in the US. It's a little bit like that here too. Wow, and it's super, super green. Didn't expect that. So we made it back to the van. We are gonna call it a day, folks. We have some work to do, we have some editing to do, we have to clean the van because look at it. Thank you for an edit. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget about the Skillshare offer that I mentioned before. First 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description box below. Get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. Go check them out and 